As yet, the police report nothing. So far, none of the witnesses have been able to identify the tune the killer hummed. All agree it was some sort of lullaby, a lullaby of death. And now to the Washington scene. Mary? Mary? Yes, Mrs. Adams? This little table was out of place. Oh, I'm sorry. Keep things in their places exactly. If the old marks are worn out, make new ones with adhesive tape, will you? I had the back legs on the front marks. I set my watch by the electric clock in the kitchen. Mine is three or four minutes slow. I missed the beginning of the nine o'clock news. All right. to me. Jenny got married last week. Anybody else here? No, no, just the two of us. Boil some water and bring me some clean towels. Okay, bring him in. What is it, Ben? What's the matter? Uh, one of my friends got hurt. A oh. farmer slammed into us with his truck. Oh. Upstairs, back room. I'll call Dr. Chase. No, don't do that, Mom. It's just a scratch. Oh. The window next to him got broke. Hey, what about something to eat? There are three of us. Sure, I'm sure there's plenty. Fix something, will you? Sandwiches, anything. I'm gonna put the car in the garage, the top's down, and it feels like rain. All right, Ben. I'm sure glad for you, Ben, Tom. Must have been a wonderful surprise. Yes. Didn't you say I hadn't been here for two years? It's been three years Christmas. We'll use these dishes. Better wipe them off, they're dusty. How does he look, Mary? Does he look happy? Well, I only saw him for a minute. I, I guess he was upset over the accident and his friend. I'll get this upstairs. I'll be down in a minute. Heat the roast again, Mary. Set the table in the living room, please. Looks infected to me. Yeah. I dug out the slugs, but I don't think he's gonna make it. You sure you don't want me to call Dr. Chase? No, no, everything's under control, Ma. Meet Red Johnson, Bill Dale. Uh, how, how do you do, Mr. Adams? Hello. There's iodine and alcohol, a little bit of cotton in the medicine chest, if you want it. Yes, yes, I remember, Ma. Oh, will you make some gravy? Red loves gravy, and I told him you make the best. All right, Ben. Thanks. She don't look blind to me. She is, ever since I was 15. Yeah, she gets around awful good. You know, only in this house, that's why she never leaves her. He's out cold. What do we do? Nothing. Come on, let's get washed. I'm gonna eat. I'm starved. The gravy's heating on the back burner, the right one. I sliced the meat. It's in the oven, on low, getting warm. So's the bread. Thank you, dear. Is Ben going to stay here a while? Well, it's it's hard to tell with Ben. I hope he stays a long time. I know how much you love him, Mrs. Adams. There, there must be a dozen pictures of him around the place. See if there's some frozen peaches for dessert or, or strawberries in the deep freeze in the garage, will you? All right. Didn't I tell you she was some cook? Uh, quite a spread. Sit down. 
There you go, Ma. Would your friend upstairs like something? Mary could take a plate up to him if you wanted. No, no, he's asleep. So you're Jenny. Now, that's Mary. Jenny's left. Oh, glad to know you, Mary. My name's Red. Sit down, kid. No, thanks. You and your friends, are you all in the same business together? Yeah, yeah, and we're doing just great, Ma. What business, Dan? Oh, like I wrote you. Commission deals, bankrupt stocks, great business. The only thing is, it keeps us on the move. Last week, Youngstown. This morning, Capital City. Tomorrow, who knows? Capital City? Well, that's where the... That's where what? Capital City's been in the news all day. Didn't you read about it or hear it on the radio? Hear about what? Well, there was a bank robbery there. Yeah? Yes, three men held up the bank. They got away, too. Got away? Where were the cops? Did they uh, have any idea who it was? Well, there was... There was one clue. The hold-up man who shot the bank teller was humming all during the crime. That's a new one. Anybody recognize the song? One of the people in the bank remembered how it went. The police had her hum it for a music critic, and, and he recognized it. Really? Well, I must have missed that broadcast. What was the name of the song, Ma? Shadow Lullaby. You're kidding. No, no, I'm not kidding, Ben. I put you to sleep with that lullaby your first six years. And then you started growing up, and though you considered yourself quite a little man, every time you were in trouble about something or scared or you couldn't go to sleep, I... You used to beg me to sing that lullaby to you. Mom, you don't think I'd rob a bank? You? No, my Ben wouldn't rob or kill. I don't even remember that song anymore. Uh, how's the song go, Mrs. Adams? Well, uh... La, 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 la. Oh. Is that your friend? Yeah. Yeah, you must need something. you come too, honey. Maybe you can be of some help. All right. Hey, you. That's for you to keep your mouth shut. I had to cut the phone wires. She saw me. Look. Look, you're a smart kid, aren't you? And just keep your mouth shut and you'll be okay. Now, I don't know what you do know or what you don't know, but if anything happens to me, something worse is gonna happen to you. I'll get downstairs with the old lady in straight force, you understand? Yeah, she understands. She's no dope. Their friend is dead, isn't he? I don't know what you mean, Mrs. Adams. He, he just seems drunk. Mom, where's the shovel? Shovel? Yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna take red fishing with me in the morning. Wanna dig up some worms. You don't need a shovel. There's plenty of worms by the swamp and back at the garage. You can get them with your hands. Yeah. Yeah, I forgot about the swamp. Thanks, Mom. We don't need a shovel, Red. You poor child. 
I'm all right. I told a lie, Mary. That lullaby in the bank was played on the radio. I know, I heard it. But it wasn't identified. No one knew the title or where it came from, not even Ben. Well, that's what I thought, but you said that... That lullaby was one I made up myself long before Ben was born. Oh, Mrs. Adams, you know. Yes, I know. But Ben seems so nice. No. You're such a child, Mary. Now, you go to your room, unlock the door. Oh, Mrs. Adams. Please, please, I want to talk to Ben. went upstairs. She was tired. Which is her room? Now, see here, Mr. Johnson. I don't go for fast courtships. Good night, Ma. Good night, Mrs. Mm -hmm. We're going to hit the sack, too. Please, I want to talk to you, Ben. In the morning, huh, Ma? All right. In the morning. Which is her room? Down here. Yes? Open up. You remember what I told you? Yes. So don't try to go anyplace tonight. It'll be your last trip. I won't. Where do I sleep? In there. Dale's room? Yeah. What do you think this is, a hotel? Good night, now. Ben, please. Look, Mom, dead tired. Oh, you're still my baby. No man can ever understand what that means. Yeah, I know, I know. Oh, you need a shave, Ben. Yeah, yeah. How'd you get that scar? I got in a fight in a bar. <laughs> Some guy hit me with a bottle. Your hands are soft like your father's. Look, Ma, I'm dead tired. You wouldn't believe me, would you, Ben? I told you why I fell in love with your father. His educated voice, his soft hands. I thought because he had soft hands, he had brains. He was sharp as a tack, Dad was. He was afraid of honest work. I told you that. Go to bed, Ma. Your father was no good, Ben. I told you if you believed him and not me, you'd end up just the way he did. Now, you're all wrong, Ma. Dad was a great guy. I still remember the presents he used to send me, broke as he was. Best ice skates, model sailboats, a motorcycle. Yes, but where did he get the money? What difference does it make? Look, Ma, what do you know about life? You never had to earn a dime. Your folks left you this house and enough money to get by on. You went blind before you ever saw what a big city looks like. Ma, what you got here isn't living. It's just staying alive. Sure your way of living is right? Deep inside, don't you ever feel you're wrong? We all make mistakes. Oh, Ben, don't you remember what it was like to feel fresh and clean? Do you remember when you went with Marilyn? You wrote this letter five times. It was an apology I helped you with when she slapped you because you got so fresh. <laughs> I was just a punk kid then. 
but a decent one. Marilyn is still beautiful. She has two lovely children and a good husband. She loves life. And so do I. But not in a hick town, tied down to somebody who thinks the sun rises and sets in their front and backyard. Oh, that's your father talking. You said it. Look, Ma, I don't want to live like you. I'd go nuts in a dump like this. You don't hear me, do you, Ben? Sure, sure, I hear you. But if I don't, so what? When are you leaving, Ben? The way you feel, I will get out of the morning. Well, good night. My mother, she won't do nothing to me, and she can't see you. You go to bed. Okay. Well, I get you humming that song, and I'm gonna cut your tongue out. I can hear the dial tone. Oh, good. Now, here are the keys to the car. Drive to the crossroads and wait for the police. Leave you alone. Oh, you must get rid of their car. Now, go on. Do as I say. Oh, and one more thing. Do you know where the fuse box is? In the garage over the deep freeze. Yes, that's right. Pull the master switch and throw away the fuses. Now, go on.
Hello? This is Adam. Yes. This is the police. Did you just call? Yes, of course I called. Well, we got to check. You know how people are. Oh, please. Hey, Ben, I'm locked in. She forgot Dale's gun. God, oh, you dumb punk. Hey, Red, blast mine, too. Let's get out of here. your gun. She's my mother. Get away from me, Ben. Leave him alone there on the stairs. <laughs> okay, Mom, no! told you to, didn't you? Yeah, I am. Oh. Oh, Ben, you're hurt. Oh, I got a light down. Oh, Ben. <laughs> Come here, Ben. Please, here. Oh, Ben. Mom. <laughs> Mom, I'm scared. Don't be. Don't be scared, Ben. Here. He can't hear you, Mrs. Adams. Oh, I guess he never could. Oh, Ben. Oh. 